One of the most dangerous groups of elites have been confirmed along with the default armor set for Halo Infinite. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Helps more people get a chance to see the videos, stay updated with everything going on with Halo Infinite. Talking about Halo Infinite, make sure you subscribe to keep yourselves updated as we ramp up to the eventual release of the game. Now one of the questions I get the most in the comment section of almost every Halo Infinite video is talking about the campaign, the story, and what people would like to see in the game. Well, we finally got a little bit more confirmation of what's going to be in the story of Halo Infinite. And guys, this looks to be really freaking awesome. A new badass elite named Jega Redomne is going to be in Halo Infinite. 343 states here saying that the reveal of a brand new character you might find lurking silently in the shadows at some point in Halo Infinite campaign. So when I hear this, it screams to me, Silent Shadow. Later in this video, we'll dig into a little bit of the lore of who the Silent Shadow are and how they will play a part in Halo Infinite, but I'm sure you guys want to see the man on the thumbnail himself, Jega, and have more known about him. Well, it says, and I quote here by 343 saying, in hushing whispers throughout the ranks of the banished, Jega Redomni name is spoken with care. The Blade Master's history is shrouded in rumor and has truths. Some say he's an experiment an affront to his own kind. Others make mention of clandestine ambush gone wrong. Very few know the truth, fewer speak of it. One thing is certain, he has hunted demons before, and as the first recruit welcomed into the hand of Atriox, he will do so again. Just reading that alone gives me freaking chills just talking about this guy. This gets me so excited for what Halo Infinite has to offer for the campaign. And the reason why he's brought up as a possible experiment and an affront to his kind, as you can see by the art design here, he has some unique armory to him. But the cool thing about him, if you check out his right arm, it's a robotic arm, which is pretty cool. We haven't seen that with any elites or anything. But the thing that makes this much more interesting, that was also brought up in a Hidden Xperia video, this is a very similar robotic arm model to what we've seen in Halo Reach. And this kind of honestly looks like a fallen Spartan's robotic arm. Just look how much smaller that arm is compared to his natural arm. The shoulder piece is much smaller than the shoulder piece on the other shoulder as well. You would think they would try to proportion it properly. I think they just killed a Spartan, took his robotic arm, slapped it on right there on Jega, and he called it good. And this would fall in line with the kind of idea of the Banish as they generally take whatever you know equipment, weapons, whatever they can find, they can salvage and repurpose it for themselves. This would be exactly what a Banish member would do. And plus they probably wear it as a badge of honor, being letting people know that, hey, I was able to take down a freaking Spartan. So a bit of a summary of how Jega is going to play a part in Halo Infinite. 343 writes here saying, A mysterious and battle ravaged Singhili warrior, Jega represents one of several new characters that you will encounter along your way through the Halo Infinite campaign. With each confrontation playing its own part in Chief's continuing journey. Now, interesting thing here, I just want a side note, just a bit of a speculation, but obviously they mentioned specifically the campaign. Now, obviously, we haven't had a true multiplayer reveal, so that could be a factor, but you would think they would just say Halo Infinite when it comes to this character. If, say, like Warzone would be coming back into Halo Infinite, you would think someone like Jega would be like a boss character you would fight in Warzone. Obviously, they might be saving that for a uh, reveal, but I think specifically mentioning campaign makes me also kind of believe a little bit more that maybe Warzone would not be coming back in Halo Infinite. Again, that's pure speculation, but it's my opinion. So now you're hearing at this point, you're like, okay, this guy sounds pretty awesome, but who are the Silent Shadow? Are there going to be multiple of these kind of guys? Well, possibly, but they definitely know that saying lurking in the shadows definitely implies Silent Shadow, which these guys are the elites of the elite, if you want to put it that way. A quick description here in Halopedia says, the Silent Shadow was a division of Special Operations Sanghili within the Covenant's Special Operations branch. It was made up of several squads. The Silent Shadow undertook 
took numerous missions during the Covenant War, including assassinations and extractions. Now the way they tie into the Banish here is one such squad was led by First Blade Officer Reza. During the Great Schism, Reza's squad took it upon themselves to wipe out every Jehohane, that's the brutes, they encountered. However, Atrox was ultimately able to convince the rest of the squad to betray the first blade officer and join the banished. So the way that interaction went down with Atrox saying, while other members of the Silent Shadow were greatly tempted by Atriox's offer, Reza refused citing that Atriox and the Banished deserved death for their sins. The rest of the Silent Shadow squad tried to convince Reza that Atriox and the Banished were other and but not to avail as Reza moved to attack he was slain by the rest of the squad who desired to join the Banished. Afterwards Atriox allowed the remaining members of the Silent Shadow to join the Banished offering it to reward them with blood and sport and spoils. So is Jega a member of that initial group of the Silent Shadow? Possibly, or it could be just a member who joined in. We don't know for sure until we actually get some more details on that, but I still think that's an awesome little tidbit of lore that, you know, obviously is something that just makes this so cool. It adds a bit of mystery to the whole thing as well, which I think is great. Uh, it's something that uh, the Halo franchise has really been missing out. It's just like not having to be told everything, not having to know everything about the game, which is kind of what the uh, Reclaimer saga has been kind of running into with Halo 4 and 5. Basically, everything is completely explained to you. Where like in uh, the previous trilogy, you still really didn't know who the Forerunners were, but you know you gotta stop the Covenant from getting blown up, so that's all you gotta do. Also, the Silent Shadow Elites do have a cloaking ability as well, so I think it'd be pretty cool to see them like at night. You might see like a red blade sharpen up out of nowhere. And it's just like, oh my gosh, that's an invisible lead with a red sword coming right at me. That visual of that just sounds so freaking cool. God, I wish this would happen in Halo Infinite. Again, we will have to wait and see if it actually does. Talking about some more Halo Infinite reveals, looks like we do have the default armor set revealed for Halo Infinite as well. We have a sketch of an image right here, as you can see. I think this is exactly what 343 is trying to do. This looks like a total blend of classic and modern Halo armor styles melded together. And personally, in my opinion, this looks pretty freaking awesome. Obviously there's gonna be other armor sets with different variations and different ways you can call them and things like that, but this just looks really freaking cool. They did go into some lore about this whole thing, but essentially this is Mark 7 Gen 3. You'll be seeing this in the game. Enjoy. So what are you guys' thoughts on Jega and the Silent Shadow being in Halo Infinite? Do you guys like the new armor style? Well, let me know in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to apply to most of them as well. If you're new to the channel and missing any content from me, check out the videos on the screen right now if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.